hi grade 5 very good morning and nice to meet you through this short video about today's class a glimpse into the future which is in the page number 81 at our studio fine so today's class we have seen the overview of the lesson and we are going to read an interesting story about the life in the future explore the key elements of the science fiction and learn to use verbs to indicate a future action use a tense form that connects the present with the future Today we have seen how to uh, use the verb to indicate the future action and as you are seeing my pointer and we have seen how to use a tense form that connects the present with the future. Okay, so directly we have jumped into the page number 97 that's the fourth point 10. Okay, and uh, uh, which tense will form the word will or shall and you all gave a good answer that simple future tense will use these word will or shall right and we have a small example so i will visit the dentist next week you shall clean your cupboard tomorrow without fail and we had a very good tabular column here and i gave you as a self work okay and here look deep i have asked you to underline the verb in the sentence okay so everyone told that tell is the verb and visit is the verb but fortunately the answer is going to be this okay this is the answer i'm going is the verb because we saw that going to is not a tense it is a special structure that we use to talk about the future okay so uh, what is the formula to write what is the structure to write a future tense so that should be subject that should be a pronoun that should be uh, going right this is and uh, there should be some initiative plus verb okay that should be a initiative plus verb okay so to illustrate this example i is a subject that's a pronoun I am going to tell all my friends about the visit and this is going to be the future tense okay so after all this summary we saw that we can express the future tense in two different types of sentence one is expressing plans and intention and another one is making a predictions one example is she is going to buy a new bike. She is going to buy. That's an intention. That's a plan of us. Here, my brother is going to miss his train. He is going to miss his train. We are predicting because he is getting ready very late. And we had two beautiful sentences in our class. Okay, there are four different types of sentences we have learned already. One is affirmative, interrogative, declarative, superlative. So here we have three different sentences. One is affirmative and the negative form of affirmative and the interrogative asking a question. Like, I am going to drive. It's a future tense using a going to as a special structure. Negative, I'm not going to drive. An interrogative, am I going to drive? And like this, we have also filled this and you will be doing this in the class. And coming to 4.12, uh, we are going to write about the future continuous tense. My brother will be playing football when I reach home. Okay. So here, this will be playing. Will be playing is nothing but future continuous tense or else it is called as future progress because this event that will be in a progress at the same time same point of time in the future okay this tense form will help us to express intentions expectations predictions about the future action okay we have seen the formula the structure of future tense here we are going to see the structure or the formula of the future continuous tense it should be subject plus will plus be plus present participle that is using ing gerund at the end of a verb one example is my sister will be eating when i reach home Okay, again, we have some examples given here at the bottom and affirmative, negative and interrogative and we have discussed this and you are going to do this as a self-work. Okay, and one tips is uh, when we use this will after a pronoun, we can make it as a short form. We will instead of V E V I L L, we can put V a first of E and W L, will or she'll, he'll, it'll. Okay, so this is a short form. That's a tips for you. Coming to 4.13. Uh, from the story, we were asked to write a future continuous tense and we have given this. And 4C is about using the verb uh, going to suitably to complete the following sentences. And 4D is we are going to complete the following sentences using the future continuous tense form. And 4E is uh, we are going to answer the following question in the future continuous tense and every answer has been given to you. Okay, These are the things which you have to copy it in your companion and your self focus i have done c uh, i have done uh, 4 b c d 
and you are going to do EFG by your own and you are going to copy other slides at your studio and companion. And thank you so much kids. Let's meet you all in the next class. Bye.